snowed last night a little bit. Um, still out here trying to get the foundation all squared up and leveled. Brought a bunch of more pavers out today and some more concrete mix to throw underneath them. We're gonna break ground on the outhouse. I'll tip her over. <laughs> and dig a hole. So I'm gonna take all the dirt from the outhouse here and then I'm gonna, well, the sand, the good stuff down below. I'm gonna take some of that sandy soil and backfill some of my other holes over here for the footers. Cause I'm starting to run out of uh, material to fill in the holes. So use the free stuff right here and dig a hole for the crapper so we can, uh, you know, fill it up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you don't want your cabin at ground level because it snows so much and you'd be digging a hole down to your cabin. So you want to build it up a little bit, right? The square is not squaring. We're getting close, but it's uh, frustrating, to say the least. Hey Google, how do you make a square square? Hey Google, how do you make a square more square? How do you adjust a square when it's off? The problem is my, just keep going back and forth. Just not being smart about this. Just trying to rush everything. Ah, just square it up, you'll be all right. How to make the square bigger? How do you fix it once it's already there? No, this didn't work. That was dumb. Hi, Grandpa. If you're wondering why there is a tape measure in this bush over here, it's because in a fit of rage, Stephen threw it. We're calling it square. We got the square. I think close enough. We're off by a sixteenth of an inch, but we're good enough for that. Uh, the main subfloor will actually make sure it's a hundred percent square. Whew. All right. Just go, just follow it in. Just keep going. It went all like sideways. That's fine. Just keep, put, just put it in. Now, hold up. Now, adjust it a little bit more. 
That's like how deep you want to go, right? Set your torque setting. There, perfect. What's he doing, Norman? Hi! You look like you work in a coal mine. How'd that show with? Put some metal brackets on the outside? Yeah. Yeah, yeah along the, you can do like one in, on each one here and maybe like you climb under there again and put two in the middle, two in the corners. I, that, that'll be a better hold anyway. You guys look so cute. You got cute. a nice smell to it. <laughs> oh, I bet I do. Is it a Is that Old Spice? Better not be Axe Body Spray. <laughs> yeah, you know it is. Pretty good over here. Feels flush to me. All right, let's get those drills back out. Yep. We'll do the corners for you, that way you know it's not going anywhere. Cool. I'll grab another sheet. There you go, keep doing that one. Nice. Shout out to Derek over here at Alaska Wild Guides for letting me drop off my lumber here and also for the use of his snow machine to help tow it out to my property. He's got a better snow machine that's used for actually hauling stuff rather than my snow machine. Tess and I are here today picking up our lumber um, that we had dropped off at my boss's office here at Alaska Wild Guides. Make sure you check them out for some snowmobile or ATV or jet ski tours. We got our subfloor all built. Matt came out yesterday and helped me and Tess build our subfloor. Finally got that all knocked out, insulated, vapor barrier in between the insulation and our subfloor, our plywood. And today Tess and I hauled out our rafters and a couple of sheets of plywood. And right now we're gonna start constructing our walls. We're gonna start with the front wall. It's gonna be the hardest one, but we're gonna start with it, okay? So we got, two 12 foot long two by fours, which is gonna be the top and the bottom plates of our walls. And then we also have two eight foot two by fours, which we're gonna to cut to length for our studs. We'll screw all that together, get it squared, and then we'll start laying out our wall. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So first things first, we'll mark these out 12 feet long. Get our speed square, make it nice and straight, and then we'll cut them. Boards at 81 inches and four boards at 82 and a half. Uh, yeah, 82. I love that smell. I know, it doesn't smell good. It reminds me of my childhood. Yep, me too. Going out to the shop, hanging out with Papa. Pay me five dollars to shovel up all the sawdust. Reminds me of my daddy. I bet. Oh, God, my brain just goes dead. 
dumb sometimes. Yeah, me too. Too much thinking sometimes, you know? Yeah. Window, door, window. We did it. We gotta get that. We gotta make the headers. Oh. And then we can nail everything together. Sure is nice to use a nail gun. Thanks, Matt. Really appreciate you letting me use your tools. Makes it work so much better and faster. Like it was stuck. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay, now's the tricky part. Looking good over here. Hold, you got it. Oh, are you kidding me? The girl's gonna dive right now. Oh, I barely got it in there. I'll use a nail. One more nail, I dent it. Okay. Of course, we still have to level it and everything, but she's up. Hi. Hello. Can I come in? Sure. Why not? Thanks. <laughs> oh my God! We're actually doing it. Look at that. Got a door and two windows. Oh, and the view is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that view. Wow, incredible. What do y'all think? 